In judging scientific theories, we have criteria that we appeal to to choose between theories. We have a set of our criteria that we apply to determine or to explain what makes a scientific theory the best or what makes that theory better than other theories. And these we can refer to as, you know, the scientific criteria of adequacy or the criteria of adequacy for scientific theories. Now, what is it that makes a scientific theory a good one? Well, one thing about good scientific theories is that not only can they explain the phenomena, but they're also able to be tested because they make future predictions. And this we might say it's the fruitfulness of the theory. That is, does the theory make pre correct predictions? That is, presumably the theory, we've assumed the theory explains the phenomena, accounts for the phenomena occur, but if it's a fruitful theory, it's able to predict what is going to happen in the future. And there's at least one other major criteria of adequacy for scientific theories. And the idea is we have a whole bunch of facts that need to be explained. right? So there's a principle that you might say it's the, or a criteria called conservatism, which amounts to figuring out how well does this theory fit with the established facts, that is, the established facts that scientists already know, or for that matter, common people already know. So if we're looking, if maybe we're judging what's gone on in a magic trick, and scientists give you an explanation that, or psychologists give you an explanation that it was really sleight of hand that the magician really did not cut the person into two pieces rather than the theory that there's this magical thing going on. Well, obviously, you know, the theory will predict things in the future that in the future when you have similar things like this, if you see somebody cut in half, if they really are cut in half, they're not going to live through it. And there are also other facts that it, you know, that it fits with rather than the theory that, well, the magician really did something magical. So we see in the case of science, there are specific criteria of adequacy for judging between scientific theories that make certain scientific theories better or worse than other scientific theories. And let's take a look at, now turn to a few criteria that have been proposed as the criteria of adequacy for moral theories.